This is the non-pneumatic anti-shock garment. It is a simple but unique lower body compression device. When applied to the legs and abdomen of a woman in shock, it helps to reverse the shock. It also shunts blood back to the central circulation system and stabilizes the patient. For the past five years, researchers have been conducting a trial on the non-pneumatic anti-shock garment for obstetric hemorrhage or simply put, bleeding during and after delivery. In Zambia, the trials on the effectiveness of the NASG have been carried out at the Lusaka, Ndola and Quito Central Hospitals and district clinics. Currently, 591 women out of 100,000 die during childbirth in Zambia and of this, a quarter are as a result of the excessive bleeding during and after childbirth. And yes, the non-shock garment is saving lives. One nurse, as I was on the ward, told me, said, Ah, doctor, you bled. Your BP at one point was 40 over 9 recordable. And I was like, I think at this point, that's where the anti-shock garments performed wonders. Dr. Chikafuna Banda is the Kito District Health Officer. He attests to the fact that many women in Kito have been served by using the anti-shock garment. It's very easy to transport a, a mother who is bleeding just after giving birth, to transport them to the hospital. You buy a little bit of time. Yeah, it's not like he, you cannot do anything about it. When you apply the anti-shock garment, you've got two or three hours before you can get somebody to uh, a hospital or uh, any place where they can receive advanced care. It is no wonder First Lady Dr. Christine Kaseba joined her colleagues in the medical field in the dissemination meeting of final results for the research. Dr. Kaseba, who was also involved in the initiation and development of the research, said she had seen firsthand the resuscitative powers of the garment in her own clinical practice at the University Teaching Hospital. I know that WHO and other colleagues, other researchers and experts, interested in maternal health had been awaiting results from this uh, study in a bid to reevaluate the recommendation that was put for NS NSGs in managing PPH. I'm so excited that the new revised recommendations by WHO call for incorporating non-pneumatic control garments in national guidelines Call for the review of training curricula to ensure providers are trained in the use of uh, the garments. Minister for Community okay. Development, Mother yeah, and Child yes. Health, Dr. Joseph Katema, is confident that the study results will map out a new course for improving maternal health in Zambia. I would like to note that if pregnancy-related complications like those that are caused by hemorrhage are treated appropriately in a timely manner, almost all these deaths and injuries can be prevented. Zambia is required to decrease the maternal mortality by 73% from 591 deaths per 100,000 live births in 2007 to 162 per 100,000 live births by 2015 if she is to attend the Millennium Development Goal Number 5 on maternal health. With Kamui, TV2 News in Lusaka.